Hi, everyone. Um, instead of just posting what I'm doing for our color pencil on black tomorrow for coffee and color pencil, I'm actually going to show you what I'm going to do because this is one way I might work. I'm I I fell in love with a, with too many things. Um, I love this moth. This uh, he's like a peacock moth. I just love him. And I also love, and I think will work great on black for some fading techniques. Remember to bring your, that Prismacolor blending or, or Lyra blending stick that I always tell people, throw that one out. Yeah, except when you're working on black. It's the one that comes like a pencil and you can sharpen it. So it's great for fading some areas. Anyway, I love this as well. And then I saw this piece of pottery, which is actually upside down, but I don't care. The red glaze on it is beautiful. And I think it looks great with Mr. Moth and, and the flowers, you know, all the reds on black. I'm just like loving them. So um, I'm going to switch my camera around. And what I did was, Obviously, all those things are different places. Some people, they Photoshop things. They do whatever they do. Um, I am just placing these. Whoopsie, turned off my camera. I'm so professional. Um, what I do is I'm placing them on the black paper. Now, when I'm doing black paper, I do use transfer paper. Um, this is by Speedball, this Mona Lisa tracing paper. It it says graphite paper, but it does come in white. So, yes, you can get the graphite one. So I've placed these around on the composition. And then I'm going to place my flower. My vase, I might just freehand draw. I mean, it's kind of like I can't draw really the stems on these because... I'm going to have to create a stem that goes into the flower pot. Um, anyway, I'm going to flip this one out of the way for a second and just go down the paper. So I did these in that eye picky. You can go back to that post on that. Um, for tracing and then I trace with a ballpoint and you want to find that pressure where I'm making a nice line that I can see but I don't want one that is going to make a dent in the paper so hang on a second and I will keep on drawing this so now I've drawn my flower up top that's just got a few hanging on leaves and i started the the uh, stem but i didn't draw it all because i'm going to have to make the stem work with what the moth is holding on to this moth is wonderful hey remember now i'm working on white so uh, I'm working on black and my lines are going to be white. So all of this white fluff, you know, I don't have to worry about a black outline on a, on a white. Moth here. He's got all his little hairiness. I can just draw a white line in here because it's going to come out white. Moths are just hairy butterflies. They are just nocturnal butterflies. That is the difference between a moth and a butterfly, is that one is nocturnal. And when I was up in the Adirondacks uh, in the summers, I really fell in love with some of the beautiful lunar moths and everybody. Some of them are pretty scary. And some of them are pretty huge. Um, hang on, I've got a story. For so now I've got my flower and my moth 
um, I'm going to connect these to one more flower. So I'm going to remove some of this in a minute. Um, I don't know if I'll get this pottery in here. Um, I guess I could carefully untape this guy and get this in here. But I don't want it too high because I do have the moth in there. So one time when I was up in the Adirondacks where I taught summer camp, um, the uh, the cabins were pretty much just screen porches. And, um, you know, after the summer and they lift up all the wooden panels up off the windows and then they had the screens. Well, somebody didn't lock them down and uh, they left the lights on. So, of course, I came in to my art room, which was by then a room full of moths. And uh, they were just all over. They were beautiful, but they were just all over. Um, and uh, I had to figure out a way to get them out. And if I couldn't get them out, well, then I was going to have to get rid of them. And I was trying to sweep them out with a broom. And there was one I just decided I just needed to sorry beat it to death but i hit it about 14 times and it still got up it was there forever um ready to fight me but also at night if you went up to one of the the doors like the infirmary where the light was supposed to stay on all night um i think there's a there's a pedal going out that way but i don't want to draw too much of it just like this it's kind of blurry but there are petals coming down and I don't want to go too high because I think I'm going into moth territory anyway in the morning sometimes on the infirmary it was like it was the whole science book of Here's every kind of moth, the great big lunar moth and everything. So I've kind of paste, cut and pasted these all over. Very old school. <laughs> Not like people who do Photoshop now, who would have placed it better. But then I've got my whole erase pencil. This is an erasable colored pencil and I can sort of aim my stem at, you know, this guy doesn't have to be on the same stem. And this one's just a background shape. You know, these could be two different shapes there. And then not to make it too busy, I just want a little of the shape of the what I'm using as a vase. I was going to go up higher and do a different angle of the vase, but I think I'm going to throw that out and just kind of get behind here. Maybe not that big. Isn't it great when you draw a line where you don't want it and you can just erase it out? And just say that somewhere in here, I'm going to work in a, a vase. I'll work it in somehow. And get this to look like it's supposed to. And anyway, it's back there. But there's a kind of flower shape in front. I just want a little bit of that glaze down there, this blurry flower flower in the background but it's this flower this flower and the and the um the moth so it was a whole science project and I got to see you know that was my first sighting of the that greenish lunar moth 
And of course, I love this peacock one and I've drawn it before. It's rather small, but then who knows how big these pictures are. I'm just in love with all the reds that are happening everywhere. And by the way, this uh, white transfer paper, um, I've used it before and you can use it again. So don't throw it out because you used it. You can probably use it two or three times before there's nothing left, but join me tomorrow with whatever it is that you've chosen to draw. And you could just choose, you know, one of these pictures. You could just be maybe doing the flower, for instance, and and that's it. Um, if you want to add the other items, then that's how I did it. And I thought that's going to be complicated to explain. I'll just kind of do it in front of you. Um, see you tomorrow night. I have some good news for everybody about the Women's Club of Chevy Chase. If you entered last year, even if we live kind of on the borderline of those 40 miles, we're all in. And they called me today to make sure that you all knew. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow night. Thank you.